Today I thought I would go ahead and show you a tip for access. I'm going to show you how to create a calculation on a subform. The form we're looking at right here is actually a form that has below a subform with it. The main form is just general information about my employees. And then down below is a subform which was created from a query that pulls in all the sales for each employee. And the reason I used a query is because the query has a calculation called the total price. What I would like is for each employee that I look at in this form, I would like the subform to list all of the information as far as the employee sales. But at the bottom, I'd like to have a calculated field that gives me a total of the total sales that that person has actually done throughout their career. Now, right now, because of how this is set up, when I look at this main form, what I see is what's called a data sheet. So the first thing I have to do is update the subform so that I can add a calculated field. So what I'm going to do is close this main form. And if I look at my navigation pane, under forms, I have a form called the event pricing subform. And when I open it up, I'm going to see it more as a data sheet. But if I switch the view to the form view, what it actually is is a form that has the different fields from the query all showing up one time. What I need it to do is to be more in a form view, but itemized so that it can still work as a subform. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch the form that I'm using as a subform to design view. And what I have to do is change the layout of this to what's called a continuous form. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and select all the fields in this form. And to do that, I'm going to go to the ruler. And on the ruler, I get this little black arrow that shows up. I'm just going to click and drag. And what that does is just selected every single field in the form. Then on the ribbon, if I switch to Arrange, there's a choice for how to create the layout of a form more in a table format where I can do Stacked or Tabular. If I choose Tabular, what that's going to do is create a format where all of my field labels are in the form header and all of the actual fields are showing up in the Details section. I'm going to go ahead and click on the top um, label field and drag to the left just to kind of make it so that it goes all the way to the left. And then if I switch to the Home tab and switch my view to Form View, I'll be able to see the form and what it would look like as a continuous form. The only thing that I need to fix if I go back to Design View is there's a lot of space between the actual fields and that form footer. So if I click and drag up, that's going to get rid of any extra space. So that way, each row, when I actually add it to the subform, will be real tight so I don't have a lot of space between all the records. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now the next step that I have to do is I want to be able to get a calculation to appear. And what my goal is is that when I have the subform added to a main form, I need to list all of the records for whatever employee is showing up in the main form. And then at the very bottom, I need a calculation. So anytime you want to total up a field, it's always in the form footer. So if I click at the very bottom of the form footer section and drag, that's going to give me an area that I can work with. All right, my next step is I need to add an unbound text box to the form footer. So if I go to my Design tab on the ribbon, there's an option in my tools called Text Box. It's that little A, B, and a line. If I click on that, I'm going to drag it down to the form. And when I click, it adds a label and an unbound text box. First, I'm going to click on the label. I'm going to highlight that and change it to the word Total. And I'll just put a colon after it. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to click on the unbound text box. And if I go to the top left-hand corner, there's that little box. If I put my pointer on it, I'll get a four-headed arrow. I'm going to drag that over just a little bit so it's a little closer to the label. 
And now I'm going to add a calculation to that unbound text box. So now that it's selected, if I just click inside of the text box, I can start typing. So just like when I do any calculation, I'm going to start by typing in an equal sign. And then I'm trying to total that total price. So I need to do a sum. And it's still a function, so I need a left parenthesis for the argument. Then I need to tell it that I want to sum up the total price of all records that show up in that detail section. So in order for it to know I'm working with a field, I'm going to type a left bracket, then the field name, which is total price, a right bracket, and that shows that it's looking at a field, and then a right parenthesis. Now if I click off of it, I have a, an unbound text box now shows that calculation. Now if I were to switch to the form view, what it's going to do is it's going to show what one record looks at, but at the very bottom there's a total, and it's actually going to total up all the records. Now this is inaccurate, but once we have it so that it's appearing in the subform, it'll total it out for just whatever record is showing in the main form. Um, one other thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to design view, and if I click that unbound text box, if I just double click on it, I need to change the format of the contents of that text box. So on my property sheet, under format, I'm going to click on a drop down, and I actually want this to be currency. So if I switch back to the form view, now it's in a currency format. Okay, I'm going to save this event pricing subform and close it. Now if I open up the employee sales form, it's in form view, it looks as though nothing has changed. It still shows up as a data sheet. That's because the default view of the subform is data sheet. So all I need to do is switch to design view, scroll down so I can see my subform, and in the very corner of the subform between the two rulers is a little box. That's the select all. And if I double click on it, that's going to make it so that my property sheet is showing the information for the subform, not the main form. If I go to the format section, there's a, a place that says default view. I'm going to switch that to continuous forms. And what that'll do is if I switch back to the form, now it's going to show my records in that continuous form view that we created when we edited the subform, and at the very bottom is a total. That total is going to match whatever record shows on top. This is Gina with this month's tip. For more information about our company, visit officeproductivitytraining.com.